You will probably want to add contacts to Microsoft Teams. So here right now, these contacts here are people with inside my organization. If you want to add somebody external to your organization, a mobile number, an email address, and those sorts of things, then you can do that with Outlook, and Outlook will synchronize across to Teams. So if I open Outlook now, now I've, I've gone into Contacts in Outlook, and I'm going to click New Contact. I'm going to create a contact here. Now you do need various fields in here populated for it to synchronize to Teams. So I'm going to have name, path, Vader, company. You do need company, uh, the company field populating for it to synchronize to Teams. If they're not from a company, if it's an individual, then you can put their name in here and that will allow it to synchronize, synchronize across to Teams. So Death Star, subtitle, how it's going to file, email address, so it's starthoughtsvader at thestar.com and telephone number. You do need the telephone number populating as well. 0123456789. I'm going to save that. And now what this will do in the background, this will synchronize across to Microsoft Teams. So if we're going to Teams here, currently uh, sorry, Darth Vader is not there. If we give this just a short while, then Darth Vader will synchronize across and you'll be able to see that contact there. So I've left this a few moments to synchronize and now you can see Darth Vader is here as a contact within Microsoft Teams.